A grieving mother is reaching out tonight to parents of teenagers and university students. She lost her son last year to a strain of meningitis that is preventable. One shot could have vaccinated her son and saved his life, but she didn't know that until it was too late. CTV's Stephanie Sherlock joins us now live with her story. Stephanie? Andrew, Janet Monroe is still reeling from the loss of her son Bradley. His death was preventable and she wants to make sure every parent knows how to protect their kids. She's also calling on the province to fund the vaccine, making it accessible to everyone. So painful. Did he know how much we loved him? Her son Bradley, who'd beaten cancer as a child, was studying theatre at university in Kamloops when he suddenly died. Were we the best parents we possibly could be to him? Did we give him a quality life for 23 years on this earth? He died from meningitis, specifically the Y strain. Bradley developed a headache on the Wednesday night and he was gone Friday morning. Most people are immunized as children, but not against the Y strain. The vaccine is available, but costs $120 and is not covered by MSP. It's not funded for all people, so you may have to pay for the vaccine. Some people do have coverage through their personal health insurance and that sort of thing. So it's definitely recommended, especially if you're considering going to college and to living in a dormitory style um, setting. Janet didn't even know it was available, and for that she blames the province, saying the vaccine should be routine. That is the hardest thing to know, that my son basically died because of politics. The University of Victoria says it takes vaccinations and immunizations very seriously. Each student is given information about it when they first come here, and first-year students going into residence are even required to check off a box on their residence agreement that says they have read and understood the information they've been provided. I'm promoting immunization on all levels. And she says they make it as easy as possible to both access and afford. Our undergraduate student uh, extended benefits plan uh, provides 80% coverage for all vaccination costs. So it isn't, it's not a financial burden for students to be vaccinated. Though it's information that came too late for Bradley Monroe, Janet wants to make sure other parents don't suffer the same loss. I would be lining right now if I could line up every child for that vaccine. And that's what I plan on doing by increasing awareness and lobbying the government to fund the vaccine. This was not right. He should not have died this way. He was my baby. Now, one of the important things to note about meningitis is that the symptoms are often overlooked as it presents much like the flu, usually starting with a headache, often accompanied by a stiff neck and sore muscles. Now, to throw your support behind Janet's efforts to get that vaccine covered by the province, you can log on to her group site, meningitisbc.org. Andrew? Her story is a sad one. Extremely sad. Beautiful memorial. Thanks, Stephanie. You're welcome.